Today is the most specialist guest we could ever have. She is the co-host of the famously famous podcast, Seek Treatment with Pat Regan. And she has her own Netflix special, The Twist. She's gorgeous, but she's also friends of the cats. She's the cat of all cats. Give it up for Cat Cohen. <laughs> oh my God. I am so happy to be here with my favorite kitty cats. Purr, 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 purr. purr meow, meow, mix. Um, happy Monday, but we post it on Thursdays. But whatever. <laughs> happy Thursday, y'all. Girly, how are you doing? You know, we we go way back. You, me, and PD. I've known y'all from day dot, as they say on mm-hmm. Love Island. Day dot, mate. Some of my first New York comedy friends. Yes, we're we are day ones. So we have to get right into it. Petey is obsessed with Love is Blind. He's not all caught up, but he is obsessed. Okay. And then we know that you're obsessed with reality TV. I mean, you're you're that girl. You yeah. post the the clips on your stories, and that's how I know everything. Oh, especially on Love Island, they'll say something so amazing. You're like, I cannot believe this is free to watch. <laughs> it's just so good. I guess it's not free. But, you know, actually, I use my brother. Well, I use my brother's peacock. Yes. Oh, Ooh, that doesn't sound Okay. Good. That's actually merch. <laughs> I use my brother's peacock and cat Cohen. <laughs> Quote it. Quote it. I do watch um a lot of reality. Petey, who are you rooting for? Well, the people that I was rooting for, they didn't make it. A D and um Oh, oh, Clay and A D, yeah, yeah. Initially when I saw him, I'm like, okay, this looks good. They kind of vibing. Although I didn't like how he got all weird when he found out she was talking to the other dude. So that was like the biggest red flag. Like, bro, it's a dating show. What the hell's wrong with you? Like, yeah. Well, he asked her to describe how she looked, which was against the rules, which is which defeats the purpose right. of the program. Everyone is falling off with that. Everyone asks that. And it's like you're supposed to see the love without actually seeing the person. They, they miss it every time. But guess what? Love is not blind. Not even close. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Kat, who did you think in the first few episodes that you were like, okay, I can bet on these two right here? Honestly, when, when Clay and AD first met, I was like, this is such a cute couple. They're really vibing. And then he just started behaving badly. And then she's been putting up with I, it. But I want that on a reality TV. I want someone to behave yeah. badly because at least they're being like honest. Anybody who's like, oh my God, he's such a gentleman. He's doing everything right for me. My head goes... Oh, he's putting on. He's putting on for the camera. And he's yeah. going to be a nightmare when the cameras are off. Totally. I-, I was surprised. I feel like this season, more than others, they kind of acknowledge that they were on TV. I feel like usually they pretend they're not on TV. This one, they're like, you said that when the cameras were rolling. I was like, oh. <laughs> They know they're on TV. It's it's not Truman Show. It's they know. Yeah, which is which like really takes me back to real world. I miss like um, I love New York. A N T M early seasons. Yeah, yeah. People really was like, yes, the cameras are on, but I don't realize they're on, and that's why I'm going to do what I need to do, and that's what made the TV so good. Now it's trash. I know. And also, not to be this girl, but it was like pre-social media mm-hmm. reality. We, everyone was less trained at like presenting themselves publicly. So people were just doing wild yeah. activities. Now we're all like, hey, this is my brand. I'm five foot seven and I'm based in New York City. Right. It's right, a casting right. call. It's really, it's just a casting call every time. And all their jobs are influencer. Uh, that's our job now. But even though I'm on TikTok right now and the influencers are saying, the, everything is getting de-influenced. They're losing their coins. Oh, <laughs> they like, what do they mean? What do they mean? Like you said, like, even when you were like, man, I'm watching this stuff on TV. How is this quote, quote, free? I mean, content is everywhere now. Before it was so niche where you're like, oh, these reality stars are only on these reality shows. But now everybody's on TikTok. They're getting broken up with in a Burger King and then going live. And then people are cutting up those (laughs) clips. And it's like, we don't even need to watch TV anymore. Everybody is giving us the dirt. Risa Tisa did just as much numbers probably as Love is Blind, if not more. Way more. Did y'all watch that? Sid watched it for me. I did watch. I did watch. And it just reminded me. I was like, this woman is insane. And then I was like, I too am watching her. I am insane. Did you think at any point watching it, like, yo, she needs a show. Like, she needs her own reality show. 
for sure. No, no, I am not in the business of women taking L's publicly. I mean, she's <laughs> she's talking about a man pretending to be somebody. I was like, get in, girl. We're dating men. Like that's what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. She, I was like, she's not saying anything new. I was like, yeah, this is what they do. Oh, now there's this new phenomenon where people are actually in relationships or they were engaged right before they start filming. Well, have you watched the reunion yet, Petey? No, no but can you can you explain to him, please? So, like as Cindy was saying, Trevor was outed as potentially having been in a relationship when he went on the show, using the show as, you know, for his business. But first of all, there was that <laughs> funny moment where they're like, are you using this to promote your career? And he goes, what Ooh. career? And Vanessa's like, I don't know. What career? <laughs> <laughs> but then... No, 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 whatever. That's not important. They were like, can you explain yourself? And then I've actually never seen this on a finale. He malfunctioned. He froze. And he stopped talking. And they go, do you have anything to say for yourself? And he just goes, can I leave? No, you can't leave. You have to tell us. And he, he tried, he sort of tried to explain himself. And then he was just like, he, I think he realized how absurd he sounded. And he was like, um, guys, can I just, can I go? And everyone's like, yeah. He was kind of cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's like you're already found out, so you might as well just tell the truth instead of, like, looking crazier. Yeah. Well, he actually is the first man to date to ever just not speak because they usually dig bigger holes <laughs> when they're caught and yeah, they, like, yeah, gaslight yeah. and they're, like, they deflect and they move and they're, like, just they, – they, they're able to turn it around. He's, like, you know what? I'm going to give time back to the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But didn't it look like his his software, he glitched. He was like, the whole thing was just so humiliating. He was just trying to get his followers up. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I'm about to go up on this and shine. Yo, what? But you know what I'm thinking? Like you were saying de-influence. I now so often see people with 10 million followers. I've never heard of them. I don't know what they do. Everyone has a million followers. It doesn't mean anything anymore. It doesn't mean anything. I think the most, Im most important people, influential people, they have a less than 100K, to be honest. Yo, shout out. Thank you, Kat. We love you, Kat.